Mr. Speaker, no individual is more equal than another based on their race, gender, age, and so forth. We are all human beings created in the image of God. In Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, he talked about not judging a person by the color of their skin, but by their character. I think this legislation follows Dr. Martin Luther King's thought processes in that that we have, and we should have at this day and age, a colorblind society where that we all are afforded opportunity, we are all afforded equality, and I think this legislation uh, does a great job in moving that forward. Let us all be human beings and treat each other with respect and dignity. You know, I remember um, talking to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s son um, a few years ago, and I remember telling him that I was sorry for the loss he had experienced with his father being assassinated. And this wasn't something just out of a page of history, and he teared up when I talked to him about what happened to his father, because it's still, for him, it was fresh, even though it seems like it's been a long time ago. And he came, his son was at an event in Columbia, um, a, div a diversity um, uh, banquet we have every year in the city. So I can promise you, Mr. Speaker, that Dr. King would be against this bill, as would his son. So think about that when you try to invoke Dr. King uh, in, your, in your speeches.